Hi everybody, it's Lori with Reiki and Wellness broadcasting tonight from my healing space here in Hinsdale again for Wellness Wednesday and I just wanted to um, let you know that we're holding space again tonight for anyone going through grief or having healing challenges or having um, you know any issues that might be going on for them and I'm always here to hold space for you and um, send you lots of light and healing energy your way so um that's the intention for tonight and then um you know two nights every month i do private sessions so tonight's a private session night i don't have anything scheduled so i'm just doing the video and then next week i'm traveling on wellness wednesday so i may or may not be able to post but um for tonight we're just going to have a little topic and the topic tonight that i wanted to discuss is um how working on our aligning ourselves with our purpose is good for our health and wellness so um i think i don't know if we overlook it but it definitely is a major piece of feeling good about yourself and feeling good about your life doing work that you're in alignment with it doesn't have to be anything um, super special, but when you're doing something that you don't feel like is in alignment with you, it disrupts your energetic field quite a bit. So, and it has a trickle down effect. So when you're doing work um, that you're not enjoying, when you're working with people you don't like to be around, when you are doing something that you think you could be doing something better it's very difficult to um, put your energy field into alignment when you have all these things that are bothering you so um, doing something that's in alignment with our um, I don't want to say highest self or highest purpose I mean that's the goal I think but anything that you just feel like fits and suits you I think is a really good place to start um, I've had the experience of both, you know, I've been in situations where I felt really in alignment and I've felt situate, I've been in situations where I felt very out of alignment. So I know the feeling and I know that once I got myself into a situation that I wasn't in alignment with, it was kind of challenging to get out, but, um, it's important to get out of those situations. Um, and, you know, it's not that you're not learning anything while you're there and you're not growing. You are. But once you get into alignment with something that you really care about and that really fulfills you or that you feel really good about doing, um, it builds your self-confidence. It builds your self-esteem. You're a happier person. You're nice to be around. You don't feel as drained at the end of every day when you're doing something you care about and that you feel... Um, you know, is use, using all of your skills or most of your skills that you have to offer. And you just feel like things are moving in the right direction. And I think work, we're at work so much. A lot of us are there every day, all day. Some people work even more than that. And some people work a little bit less than that. But um, to do something that we care about, that is in alignment with who we are is very, very important to our health and well-being. And it's foundational to, you know, every aspect of how you live your life. So where you go to work and what you do feeds into your identity. It feeds into your self-esteem. It feeds into, um, you know, how you interact with other people, who you hang out with, who you don't hang out with. I mean, it really has like a lot of effect on our life. And I think sometimes we don't take, I mean, I think we think about it and I think we put effort into it. I'm not saying that we don't, but I feel that sometimes we just take things because we need the money and that that's the thing to do at the moment. And that's true. You do need the money and you do need to survive. So that's true. But if you're in a situation like that, I think it's important to, you know, work on getting out of it as soon as you can see yourself getting out of it. And when you leave, you want to be able to go to something better. So the ways that I've done that is 
you know, I start taking classes at night or I start working on the thing that I really care about. And sometimes you have to be in a situation where, you know, maybe you don't know what it is that you're looking to do next or that would use your skill set um, appropriately. So, you know, sometimes you have to butt up against the thing that doesn't work in order to figure out what might work. So, you know, kind of use it in a constructive way. If you're having a hard time and you're, you're not in the right situation or you don't feel in total alignment, use it to kind of work on opening yourself up to, well, what would put me in the right alignment? What would work for me? What would feel good to go to every day? What um, skill set do I have to offer, you know, the job market or the world? If you have a bigger mission you feel like you want to work on and, um, you know, start asking the questions and then finding the solutions to those, um, the answers to the questions by, you know, studying something or apprenticing under somebody that you really like what they're doing or finding mentors who are doing what you are interested in doing and um, you know at least put some time into the new direction that you want to head in. I think if you spend some time heading in the new direction then it'll be easier to pull out of the old direction and switch gears when the time is right. And sometimes the time, the right timing can be abrupt, you know, suddenly you get fired from your job and it's like, you know what, okay, great, because I was preparing to do this next thing anyway. So um, just, you know, working on being in alignment with our work and, you know, of course, I always consider it soul work or spiritual purpose or higher purpose, higher path, but I think it can look like ordinary things. You know, I think anyone who's in alignment with what they're doing and happy at their job is doing the right thing you know you feel it when you go somewhere and somebody actually enjoys what they're doing and you you get a you know a nice feeling when you leave there you're like oh that was a nice experience it doesn't happen that much anymore though you know when I go to the grocery store or something people seem like they're on autopilot and um, you know it's a little bit rare to find the person who's engaging with you and you know customer service oriented and giving you um, a really nice experience from their perspective in their job so um, I think you know that's not just a little way to make the world a better place it's a big way because we're affecting um, so many people that we reach in our job we're affecting the people we work around we're affecting our families when we get home from work we're affecting our friends you know like there's a lot of trickle down from doing work you do enjoy or don't enjoy so if you kind of think of it that way that you know, it's not that you can always make the change right away, but start working on making a change, start working on thinking about what would bring more satisfaction, what would you enjoy more. And in my opinion, it doesn't have to be something with a really big paycheck. Sometimes that's what motivates a person. But, um, you know, I think getting paid for something you love to do is is success, right? So that's always how I've approached it anyway. If I can make a livable wage doing something I love and care about, then I'm happy. Um, so you might have to adjust your expectations of what you want in a job or a career or, um, you know, and if you can't wiggle out of what you're doing, maybe you spend a lot of time studying for it and you're locked in, then you can spend time volunteering in, a, in an area that, um, satisfies you and kind of bring your work to the volunteer sector you can also you know commit better to your family life or something you know if just raising your family is what's bringing you the most joy then focus on that but we have to kind of put our heart and soul into whatever we're doing I think and when we do do that, we are making the world a better place and we're bringing a lot more health and wellness into our own life and into our own family systems and affecting all the people who are around us. So um, I think it's just something to think about and to consider. And of course, it doesn't just fall on your lap. You know, sometimes it's like a journey that you're on and you have to really 
put thought and meaning into everything you consider and really be mindful about what is next for me? What do I really want to be doing? Why am I here? What is my purpose? You know, and those questions are very deep questions to have to answer. Um, but I think they're worthy questions. You have, um, you have a lot of time that you spend working. You have a lot of people you could be around. And, you know, again, it's important. It's important to do work you love and care about. And it could be work that you get paid for. It could be work that you don't get paid for. But to apply yourself and your skill set and, um, you know, your heart into something meaningful is very, 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 very rewarding. And when you're in total alignment, I feel like you get paid twice, right? You get paid a paycheck and you get paid with the satisfaction of doing that thing that feels really good to do. So um, I would encourage everyone to kind of think about this and, um, you know, Reiki and mindfulness can help get you there. You can also do other things to set you on the course for being in alignment and in the right, in alignment with the right path for you. It's not gonna be the same as someone else's path. If you see someone else doing what you want to do, that's okay. That's good. That tells you that other people are doing it and they're making a go of it and they're maybe doing well at it. So that's good news for you. But no one's ever going to do your job the same exact way that you would do it. So you're bringing your own special secret sauce to the position, right? You're uh, adding a different perspective, a different um, way of doing something. So it's going to be unique for you. So when you see other people doing what you want to do, you should be looking at that as a sign from the universe saying, okay, you can do this. Other people are doing it too. And sometimes you have to really put yourself out there and try new things and get into different groups and different organizations and network with different people before you really figure it out. So for me, in the last eight years, I've been working on getting into alignment with the next phase of my life, which I felt was to help more people. And that took me about eight years to accomplish to get to where I'm at right now. Recording these videos for you and doing the job that I get to do every day um, at my office and working with families, helping them through grief. And, um, you know, and I want to keep going with this kind of work and I want to expand on it. And all that, but it took me a solid eight years to really put myself into alignment and get myself into the position and to um, do all the work I needed to do on myself and to get myself mentally and spiritually ready for the work that I want to do in the world. Um, so it, did, it took a while, but it doesn't, but now I'm like finding myself talking to people when I'm at a social gathering and I'm like, yeah, I really like what I'm doing. You know, and that took a while to get to that place where I could say that again. I've been lucky enough to say it, if, well, this is probably like the third time in my life I could actually say that to people. So, um, you know, sometimes it takes some effort. But I want to just put that out there, encourage you to start working on your um, soul mission, whatever it is, and it can be literally anything. But just something you show up to every day, you're excited to be there, you're excited to talk to people, you're happy to help, you're happy to do what you're doing, and get yourself into alignment with that because that's going to really affect your um, mental health, your emotional health, your physical health, and your spiritual health. And um, so that's the message for tonight. I look forward to talk to talking to you guys next time, and I will... Uh, be in touch. Have a great night.